Hello and welcome back to the Weaver Chronicles. It's time to jump back into into the Aether with me, the Story Weaver, Keeper of Scribbles and Weaver of Tales. People have no idea how long I've been trying to get that cave effect to work, and I hope it worked this time. So, uh, yeah. yeah. Welcome back, everyone, to the Weaver Chronicles. It's time to go around the board with my favorite players and cast of a lifetime, starting with Ember, a.k.a. Kevara. Hello, welcome back. Um, this, this is so hard to do every single time. <laughs> <laughs> How do you think I do it? I'm not as Just write it down. Thank you very much. I'm not scripting that. I, Anyways, <laughs> no, I'm Amber. Like you said, I play Kevara. Super excited to continue our adventure. Um, if you want to give me a follow, I have a photography account. It is Aglesby, photo or Aglesby Photo on Instagram, and I'm working on... That's under construction, but you can feel free to look it up and check it out if you have any photography needs in the local area. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you very much. Um, next, we've got Illumi, a.k.a. Lane. Lane. Tell them where they can find you. Hi, I'm Lane. <laughs> I play <laughs> I play Illumi. I uh I stream video games on Kick. And that's about it. That's that's all. That's me. Hi. <laughs> Amazing intro. By the way, I remember what I was gonna say. Amber, what you should do for one of these intros, do the classic uh Disney up kid. You just pull out a piece of paper in front of you. Good afternoon. My name is <laughs> I'm trying to get my wilderness explorer <laughs> Which works for your class. <laughs> Wait, hold on. No, I just need the piece of paper. Your badge and, uh, for photography. And my baby. <laughs> oh my god. I just don't like the piece of paper with the baby. <laughs> oh. Not to st Oh god. <laughs> Oh my god. Not to steal the thunder from our next introduction being I almost forgot your name. Liliana aka <laughs> Ashley go ahead and tell them where they can find you. Boop. Hi. Uh, I I don't know. I'm Liliana Star on theme and Discord and I'm actually have my little call out for my brother today in his podcast, West of Nowhere. One day I'm going to get a sound effect that's going to go like, <laughs> Oh, loud, cold, oh, cold, oh. I told everybody that, that I was going to do those, so I have a list. She's got a list, and she's checking, checking it twice. Uh, last, but certainly not least... Everyone, give it up for JC, aka A. A. Ron. Hey, uh, I'm JC. Uh, I play as uh, Aaron Whitebrow, and uh, yeah, you can find me on Twitch at Zexion. Uh, the link should be in the description whenever, but uh, yeah, thanks. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> yes, uh, I do. Do need to be putting uh, your links in the description. Um, if you guys actually, I'm not sure if you have access to that, but in the server, there's a channel called Links. If you will put your information in the links and if you can post in there, then that would really help me out of just like, bam, 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 touch up. But that being said, we have uh, no new subscribers, sadly, since our uh, last time in the Aether. Um, but that's okay, 
We appreciate all of Scribbles, Wanderers, and Doodles who attend these live streams. And if you're watching the VOD, we appreciate that too. Just want to say we appreciate every single view you guys have brought to this channel. Um, it makes the work feel worthful. That's, hmm, that's not the word, but I'm going with it. That being said, let's do quick transitions and get right into the Aether. I'm gonna do the spirit fingers. I can't see your spirit fingers during the transition. Okay. So, last we left off, we had our party continuing the multitude of tests presented in front of them by Netscape in order to become the beta winners, beta testers of their brand new technology known as the Aether. And last we left off with them, they were beginning the test of dexterity so we're gonna jump right back over to there once i transition the party back to the appropriate map all right so now my memory serves me right. And if we look at our turn order here, looks like Aaron is the next to go. The information that you have obtained so far is that right now you're on a forked path where to the left you have um, a path that is completely covered left to right of trees. And then on the right, you have a canyon. Uh, Alumi told you that he believed he saw a pebble drop from the top of the canyon um, down to the bottom. I believe everybody was heading towards that canyon, right? Because I was like the last to go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to be following up behind, uh, <laughs> keeping my wits about me. Okay. Um. And um, if you're moving up, do you have an action you'd like to do? Would you like to perceive, investigate? Uh, yeah, I wanted to use a, uh, I think it was a survival, actually, to see if uh, I could see any, oh, not really see anything, but see any tracks or anything. Right, for tracks. At, uh -huh. uh, the, yeah. Okay. Let's see. Oh, looks like you already... Okay, so you actually done your... Oh, oh that did it. reminds okay. me. Let me just kind of scroll up here. Hey, editor, <laughs> I want you to zoom in on that natural one because reviewing the VOD revealed an interesting tidbit that uh, I was a bit distracted with life last time we was here. <laughs> and old JC... <laughs> Pulled a fast one on me and succeeded with getting away with the 20 on the survival and not seeing the natural one. So for that, AA Ron, congratulations, you get an inspiration point. <laughs> for pulling a fast one. Should have been a rogue. <laughs> Should have been a rogue. <laughs> Miss my calling. Oh, just to let the uh, Wanderers, Scribbles, and Doodles know, I've also awarded an inspiration point to Kevara today. Um, and that is because we are happy that we are here to do this session, but unfortunately, to chronicalize in history, historical lies, that's a word, uh, this session, we lost an American treasure. And it was only... Amber of my cast who knew who I was talking about. 
I don't keep up with, with anything. I don't watch the news. I could care less if it's not my family. Hmm. You know? If it's not an important day, like kid's birthday, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, um, how I found out was, you know, not like I searched. I was just like, oh, did you look at that? Um, yeah, and if it wasn't for DMCA rules or copyright or something, it would there would be courtesy of Red, White, and Blue playing right now. There'd be American Soldier. Ah. Uh, anyways, leaving leaving melancholy moments uh, to the side. Um, keep it so, together, man. <laughs> keep it together, <laughs> man. <laughs> See that too, but I—that is his most dis, uh, my most despised song, <laughs> because it played on the radio nonstop for literally all of my high school. I don't listen to the radio for that exact reason. Same. <laughs> um, <laughs> hilarious. Look, we didn't have a choice back in my day. Okay, it was radio or nothing. We get it. You're old. Oh, somebody play the SpongeBob old. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. You're old. Yep, yep. <laughs> JC, yep, yep, yep. Everybody knows it. <laughs> I remember when they invented chocolate. Sweet, sweet, delicious chocolate. I always hated it. Um. Okay. That being said, um, I award you nothing, however, for your survival, and God bless you and your soul, sir. Um, but, ending of Aaron's turn, we're going to go to Alana's turn. Um, and we're going to do a roll. Barrel roll. Hmm. Okay. Um, so as you are all uh in the canyon um uh, right now, um everything seems to be still and silent. Probably too silent. Okay, Vara. All right. Um, just kind of as we're looking around the canyon, I'll kind of turn to Illumi and be like, are you sure you saw her go this way? I mean, I never said I saw her. I just saw something move. What did you see move? I mean, there was a rock that, you know, fell down and moved around. So we're, so we're venturing this canyon where we could die because of a rock. Pretty sure we're at the bottom of the canyon, so. We could still die because of another rock. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't a big rock. I don't know, man. It's like, can canyons do, like, avalanche effects and stuff like that? I don't know. Um. You go where you want to go. I will follow. Um, I'll just keep kind of walking around and looking around at different things just to kind of see if there's anything else that might be out of place. Uh, yeah. All righty. Um, so you want to look around. If you're looking yeah. around, that will be a perception. I will say, oh, it looks like this canyon um, you will be able to get through with your movement speed. But, the question is, are you going normal speed? There's a 13. Alright, 13. Um, as you are uh, looking uh, ahead of you, um, you can see in this canyon, there appears to be a rock jutted out 
further than the other rocks in the path. So if you choose to move, since you have used your action, you cannot stealth, therefore you cannot use half your movement. Um, shoot, I don't know, man. What in God's name was that? What? Um, I think I'll just kind of leave it be for now. Just end my turn there. Okay, you don't want to communicate that information to the uh, your group. No. Nope. Okay. Fair enough. Just kind of watch it for now. A <laughs> rude. Your mother, anyways. Hey, Lumi, you're up. I'm going to do a perception check. He's also going to do a perception, okay? I, not, perception. I mean, better than survival. <laughs> I guess I, I could. Uh, I'll do a survival, sure. Nice. <laughs> Ooh. And you know, uh, I don't see anything, guys. I, I don't know. <laughs> hmm. So, one right there. I'm just gonna okay. walk forward. Just so walk. that's as far fine. As I can. That's fine. And per the house rules, I did say that a natural one and natural twenty does not determine automatic success or failure. However, I was thinking about it. If you go into a negative on the roll being that a natural one is minus five and you go to a negative result then a negative effect is going to happen to you oh no so alumi you are so sure about that rock that damn rock, man. I want it. That there's something, right, everything the within pile. you, every, <laughs> uh, everything within you believes that she is behind that rock that is jutted out. It's not a boulder. It's a rock. It's a rock. <laughs> I'm going to go look behind the rock then. Okay. So as you just kind of walk over uh, to the rock and you kind of look behind, you see nothing there. But what you do here, click. Oh, no. Hey guys, she's not over. No, I'm just do, do we all hear the click, or is it just him? <laughs> oh, it's just him right now. Because what happens to Illumi after that is a pit hole opens up beneath him. Oh! Insert the goofy sound effect. <laughs> but I'm gonna dexterity I, saving throw. Damn. I, I, yes, I was. I say uh, you could. You can. Do a dexterity save. Um, actually, it's your choice. Strength save or dexterity save. And I know that's bad in your situation for strength. <laughs> However, the whole thing is about either being fast enough to make it over to the ledge or be strong enough to grab a hold of said ledge. We're going to go with dexterity. Okay. <laughs> it's either a plus one or a minus it. one. So, Yeah. <laughs> Okay, okay. Could be worse. Bad. That could be worse because uh as the pitfall kind of opens up from underneath you, you kind of in this moment it's like your instincts like on are just so in uh you know, just flight response and your told your body told you to f f like run and in that split moment as soon as it drops off uh underneath you, you um kind of make it to the ledge but you're kind of in the situation and i'm so sorry everyone of simba as he is grapp grappling onto the rock and is about to make his descent if something doesn't happen very soon 
but you just basically have your hands and you are gripping um, onto the rock of whatever purchase is there. But your time is very short. Hey guys, I can use a little help over here. <laughs> can we hear him? Oh yes, absolutely. You like you saw all that, just like um <laughs> uh beneath him just like drop and then he just started to drop but then immediately like jumps over and now he didn't make it all the way and he's just like got his hands um grasping onto whatever purchase of the ground of the path there is uh liliana it is your turn what are you going I'm to really do gonna go over there and pick him like pull him out of the hole okay uh go ahead and uh make me in athletics yeah. Oh, athletics. <laughs> oh, the dice are not nice today. Okay, all right, we'll have ourselves a little fun this ease today. Um, you go over to... Uh, hey, Aaron, get, help me. It's like you kind of like rush Boy. over, and I'm going to say for like with that athletics, um, the only way I can constitute this is that you go over there, and then it's like you kind of leap because you're afraid that he's going to fall in any moment. And you just like grab onto his hands and you're just like now putting your toes into the dirt and trying to get his purchase as well. And then trying to just keep him from falling. Come on, hang on. Hey, I'm hey, afraid Ron. she's not over here. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do? I am heavier than I look, though. <laughs> Called Aaron for help. That's what I did. Yeah. Clock's ticking. It's your turn, Aaron. You know, oh, is it is my turn? Oh, yeah, you never I said got... it. Oh, I, I did. I said a a run. Well, I respond to Aaron, not A.A. Ron. Okay, fair, fair, fair. <laughs> well, Aaron, okay. what are you going to do? And I'm going to go and assist Liliana. Okay. I'm going to go and uh, help her pull her up. So pull her and, and uh, Alumia up. With assisting her, you get advantage because she's like, you know, she's trying to help. You're trying to help her. So. Okay. You got this. Let's see. Is it an athletics check? or? Yes. Normal advantage athletics. And I had, or actually, no, never mind. All right, I got a Next. 10 and a 9. And overall, that is a 16. That is correct. Um, and thank you. Uh, JC for doing that. Everyone remember to call out your uh, roles for our podcast viewers who, you know, maybe they're just like working on something and not watching this entirely. Um, heave ho. Heave ho indeed. Um, that being said, uh, with a 16, um, you are able to uh, pull Liliana, which then pulls Lumi, and you guys are both safe. And as soon as the Lumi is pulled out, the bottom comes back up and locks shut. Thanks, friends. <laughs> that might have been a my fellow. I'm glad you're okay. I am okay. Well, she's not over here. I wonder if she's over there. <laughs> I'll just keep continuing through the canyon then. Yeah. I think we should pay attention to our feet a little more where we're stepping. Just a little traps and stuff. All right. Now it is her turn. And. Mm 
Okay. Um, with uh, that, um, as you guys are kind of recuperating yourself and whatnot, who has the highest passive perception? Passive means it's 10 plus your wisdom modifier. I have a 10. <laughs> I have a 10. We don't have anybody with wisdom, do we? <laughs> well, uh, mine's also a 10. You said it, it, you said it was what now? It's 10 plus your wisdom modifier. So what's your wisdom modifier? Because apparently everyone has a plus zero at this point. So our druid has no wisdom. That's uh, us. I have oh, well. a plus one. I think yeah, plus one to my wisdom. Okay. So, um, Aaron, with your uh, as you're kind of kind of recuperating yourself and whatnot, um, as you're kind of looking down the path, um, what you can see for the next journey of this, um is that it's a jungled area and you swore you literally just saw her swing on a vine and go to a different tree uh guys i i i see uh i see like a like a jungle up up ahead do y'all see that i don't know <laughs> Yeah, not, you guys do. That was my you natural one. I don't. <laughs> oh come on! Well, I'm pretty sure I uh, saw some swing from a vine. It could have been Tarzan, though. I don't. I don't know. Are you sure it wasn't a rock? It, it could have been. <laughs> it could. Have. Rocks are tricky, man. Uh, uh, It'll be anyway. a test of perseverance by this point. Yeah, all right. I think we should go that way. What do y'all think? I will go when you go. Yeah, let's go. Let's do it. Okay. Uh, Kevara, is it? it is your turn right now. Are you going to sure. move all the way out of the canyon? Yes. Okay. That way we can get a little bit closer uh, to the to the jungle and see if there was Tarzan or somebody else or a rock. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh is there any action you would like to take? Would you like to be stealthy? Would you like to look for more information? Would you like to investigate? Would you like to track? Uh track. Okay. Should we do a track. Do a track. Do me a survival. Do a survival. Do a barrel roll. Do a barrel roll. I gotta say, do these things. That's gonna be stuck in my head for the mm -hmm. next day. Nice. And that is a 16. That's Very nice. Very good, yes. Mm, very yeah. good. Indubitably. <laughs> oh, very good. Oh. <laughs> Okay, for your 16, you see as you come out of the canyon, oh. some bushes on the side, I'll lever your side. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me more. Oh, yes. So. <clears throat> He's gonna do the Dr. Evil nun. You know, the one million dollar. Yeah, somebody. <laughs> one million dollars. Come on, man. <laughs> well, I was thinking it's a immediate Professor Snape with that voice. Turn to page. Oh, Jesus. Turn hey. to page 394. Hoodles. <laughs> um, so, um, as you were coming out of the canyon, um, there was actually like one to two bushes on the left and right. And you can see that um on the path there are leaves from these bushes that um look like <laughs> little baby hands waving <laughs> that look like um she sprinted out of the bushes but did not do her best at 
not leaving a trace behind as she has been pretty good at doing. Okay. Uh, so after like noticing the tracks, I'll be like, hey guys, if she didn't swing away like Tarzan, she went this way and just kind of gesture to the tracks. No, 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 no. So I'll, the way okay, to I interpret it, the baby hand. that's why the way to interpret it is that this just confirms that she did go through the jungled area. Like she was okay. hiding in the bush and then she must have left from the bush to go into the jungled area. And then at some point must have got up and, and if you want to like connect the pieces, it's like she got up into the tree and then, while you were doing your shenanigans, she decided to swing from the vine. Much why? Why does she have to pull a Tarzan? This is what the okay. Um... <laughs> I just I can't quit with the Tarzan thing. She's just over here like beating her chest like a buffoon. <laughs> uh, <laughs> exactly beating her. <laughs> Voluptuous assets. Why just go make a weird man? <laughs> what? But She's proud. Anyways, no. <laughs> you okay? Yes. Like, you got offended for her. <laughs> her assets. <laughs> I am defending her assets. You're digging yourself a grave right now, man. Ah, this is where I need to put the digging a grave sound effect. Shh, shh, oh, man. Shh, shh. Okay, um, <laughs> I'll just kind of notice it and make a mental note as we're all still trying to look around to see if there's any more obvious signs of her then. And that'll just kind of be mine. That's it. I'm good. All righty. Before we get into more talks of assets. <laughs> <laughs> the greatest scene, if I could, again, like, take us away for a second. The greatest scene I've ever seen of someone who says, like, they're digging themselves the grave is literally the TV show Scrubs, where Elliot is just blabbering on offensive things, and then they just take it to a scene where she's literally digging herself a grave as she's talking. <laughs> Oh, it's great. Like the Tom and Jerry, where like the dog's going after Tom, and so he's just like, nope, and he digs a real quick grave and throws himself in. He's <laughs> like, I'm, I'm accepting my demise. <laughs> I know how this is going to go. Fair enough. Uh, okay. Illumi. Perception. Uh, there you go. <laughs> you are rolling fantastically, my friend. Great rolls tonight, man. Great rolls. Great rolls all around. Uh, I'm going the way that Kevara said she was. I'm just walking. <laughs> yep, just kind of just walking. Um, you got distracted by another butterfly. Oh no! Can somebody keep up with the Lumi? We don't need him stepping in another trap. I turn unless I walk into another <laughs> trap. <laughs> this no. butterfly seems to be one of uh, jungled colors. <laughs> Just be like Tarzan, watch out for that tree. Ah, should have used that. Should have used that. Anyway, um, all right. So walks over to Kevara, Liliana. Keeping up with them, I would like to do a survival check on the stuff that she's already looked at. Okay. I rolled a nine. Nine. Um, so, uh, with a nine, um, y you get basically the gist necessarily that what K Bar was saying is true. You don't really get, unfortunately, more information. All right. Let's go. All right. You walk up with them. Aaron. I am going to do a perception check. Nice. Yeah. Nice. For you. Mm -hmm. All nice. right. <laughs> I got a six. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. You know what? 
This is getting the bad rolls out of the way for when they're important. Uh, Man, this is just this is just a this is foresight just into our future of dying I mean, <laughs> next session. <laughs> <laughs> At least it's not by doors. Oh, <laughs> we just haven't made it there yet. We haven't, we haven't made, made it, that made that it to a door. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, there are tents here. <laughs> Aaron, um, it's a jungle, so it's very dense. So there's not really a lot you can see through the foliage best as you can and and just try as you as you will i'm just gonna keep following everybody else all righty it's gonna be her turn okay Everything appears to be still and quiet, except for the sounds of monkeys, birds, and even a, 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 a just just a touch of slithering. 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 You know where you are. You in the jungle, baby. I'm about to quit. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I have to quit right now. <laughs> Landed not just. This is Snake. Watch your feet. Does Snake talk to us, or or is that here and thanks? No, no. Like, get? Oh. Okay. It's a flash mob in the jungle. They're all gonna start. <laughs> Do I need to be in front of you so that you can, like, walk in my footsteps to make sure you don't step on it? I'm okay. I'm good. I'm pretty dexterous myself, ma'am. I was more worried for Kevara. She seemed upset about the... Like, oh. Okay, my fault. I thought you were talking to me. I'm I believe in at, you. I'm just looking at flowers. I'm just kind of like watching it like a hawk. Like, don't come near me. I'll kick you. <laughs> <laughs> Is it friend or foe? I'm gonna go ahead and say foe. Alright, so you guys are awesome. out of the uh, canyon clearing and have not made it in the jungle yet. So, what is your decision? Uh, just keep going. I mean, yeah, keep moving forward. Just keep moving. Just keep moving. Just keep moving, moving, moving. 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 What do you do? <laughs> we move. We move. All right. So we keep moving forward. Is there an a what action would you like to perform? Since you're worried about snakes, you could look for snakes. Yeah, why not? Since I see them slithering around, I'm concerned about how many are going to go ahead and be in this densely... Let uh, me be clear. Let me be clear. You hear the sounds. A touch sound of slithering. It's a big snake. I can hear it slithering <laughs> is already a concern. <laughs> I'm just saying. Like, which is sad, because I'm a druid and I'm terrified of snakes. Here we are. Um, <laughs> let me, yeah, I guess I'm going to go ahead and roll perception again. going to take that potential L. Ooh, it was a Very 17. good. Okay. It was 17. And I'm going to assume that you, like, walk. you took your movement to, like, get into the yes. jungled area. So you took your, uh, yeah. and as you're walking and getting into the jungled area, um, what you see is, as I kind of described to Aaron, is that it is a densely, um, it is a dense jungle where, uh, it's almost like it just blocks the left and right of the, of any outside view whatsoever 
Um, there are vines everywhere, and there's these big leaves. Um, you can see a venomous fly trap that is way too big to be a venomous fly trap you've seen in real life. Um, but sure no snakes. Venus fly trap. It. <clears throat> I, no, I said I said Venus. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Whatever you say, I right, sir. <laughs> Venus flytrap. I imagine that Lumi is just like rattling off plant names. <laughs> That's like, a venomous this is this flytrap. <laughs> this is a venomous flytrap. I did. Did I miss something? <laughs> No, no, Lumi would actually it's know like, the this plant is names. Not reality, okay? so it's like, uh, is this something new? Like, kind of crossbreeding and planting is this? Well, do remember that um, the CEO, before releasing you for the competitions, he did say inside of these tents is a touch, a demonstra demonstration of what you can expect in the Aether. What it can pick a flower, what happens? We have venomous fly traps. One way to find really out. No, if I pick a flower, what happens? Like, I'm a little scared because I don't want to be like, oh, look, it's just really big. And then I die. Um, anywho, yeah, so perception, notice that, and then my movement speed, so there's not really much else I can do for my turn. Okay. Um, that being said, we go to Illumi. Excuse me. You're not excused. Oh, come on. Nope. I am looking for a flower. You were looking for a flower. Yes. Okay, what flower are you looking for? Uh, a flower that I know what it is. Hmm. Um. Okay. Uh, roll me a survival to find. Let's see. No, that's roll nature. To. Nature would help you to identify the flower that you are looking for. We gotta for. find the flower and then identify it. Okay, so you want to find if you want to find it first, then okay. I would say survival. All right, let's go for it. <sighs> nice. A ten. Better what you what you been rolling. Okay. This is better than I've been rolling. Yeah. So you pick up this red and purple flower with this dark green stem. Okay. Do I know what kind of flower it is? Um, it, it seems familiar to you, but Nature you just check. can't put your tongue. <laughs> <laughs> okay, nature? I, I, I think I'm actually decent in it's nature. <laughs> Um, I say with a 14, um, you do recognize this, and this is a, words, um, and flowers, words of flowers, uh, it is a, um, a red, Flower. <laughs> it's a red flower. Uh, no. Um, red rose? It is a red phalangeal. Okay. <laughs> a red phalangeal, uh, you have learned, is that it has uh, properties used for sleep medication. 
And what happens if I pick it? Well, you get a sticky residue on your hand. I'm just being like, can I pick it? I thought you already picked it. I was just looking at it, but oh, <laughs> I mean, okay. if I can. I mean, if I can, I will. Well, yeah. you know that if you if you did if you were to pick it with that roll, uh, you would get this sticky residue on your hand that would leave a um. I want to say a an odor that's like vapor ice. Nice. I'm going to pull a glove out of my book bag and put it on and pick it. <laughs> All right. You just kind of pluck it out of the ground. Um, so, hmm. For that, give me. I wouldn't say athletics, but it is a grapple. What another. another How's your check? grapple picking up a flower? <laughs> well, you're grabbing a hold of it. Therefore. You gotta use your muscles and strike the flower without, you know, (laughs) rolling for it. (laughs) Yeah, that's fair. You know what? You're right. You're right. Sorry. (laughs) Um, Yeah, just you pluck it out of the ground, and you've got a flower. This could be handy. I put it in in a little Ziploc baggie and and put it in my book bag. (laughs) All right. Make sure you put it in your inventory. You have a red phalangeal. I'm gonna just spell that for me. And I will send it in chat. <laughs> Where did my, my notebook go? There it is. It's way over there. All right. I'm going to say, uh, I'm pretty sure that's the end of your turn there, Lumi. Yeah. <laughs> Liliana. Yes. It's your turn. Well, after watching, uh, just completely forgot about the, the whole flower. reason we're here. And the <laughs> that would the be me thing. though, one hundred percent. I would like to do. I would like to see if I can track any kind of movement of the our target. Okay. Let me double check something. Um, yeah. Go ahead and uh, make me a perception. I rolled a 19. Ooh. Interesting. Okay. So. Anything that's found, I'm telling to everybody else, like, as it's found. Um, so as, uh, you're kind of looking around and such, um, you see from a tree not too far away, um, what looks to be her, and she seems to be trying to be, uh, she is trying to stay hidden, um, on, like, the top branch of the tree. Guys, guys, she's up there. Like, right huh? Up there. Shh, shh. Up there. Where? Right over there. Oh. Oh, we're supposed to be being quiet. Okay. Uh, what? <laughs> Look at this pretty flower I got. Oh, no. Excellent. It's okay. I can make it into sleep medicine. How do you guys expect us to get it down? What should we do? You should throw one of your potions. I don't want to hurt the trees, though. What about that rock? Did you get that rock earlier? Thank you for thinking of the trees. But I can use it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I mean, yeah, use the gun. <laughs> we have to get the coin off of her somehow. Anybody good at climbing trees? Uh, I have never climbed a tree before in my life. I'm not the best at it, but... Is that going to be the end of your turn, Liliana? Uh, yeah, I think so. Okay. Erin, you have the information. She is up 
in one in the trees up at the very top. And she doesn't seem to have noticed that you guys have noticed her. Then I look to him. <laughs> I love that How song. tall is said tree? We're talking like 30 feet tall. And how stable is it? Stable? Yeah. Uh, it's a pretty wide tree. You know, like okay. jungle, rainforest type tree. If you're ramming it, I will help. Do I see what she's like? What's she doing up there? Do I know that? Um, she is, let's see, she seems to be, right now she has her, it looks as if she has her back against the tree, but like kind of half, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, her, she's got her right side up against the tree, so you see her arm and you can see her hair, um, but it doesn't look like she's looking back at you yet. I think it's because, and you feel like she may be underestimating you. Is there any trees in front of her? Uh, yes. They're, How close? I say they are spaced about, from what you can tell, 10 or 5 feet. So she can jump to them if she needs to. You can surmise. Okay, and how dark is it? Because a rainforest or a jungle is pretty dark because the sun is covered by the trees. Right. It is dimly lit through this area. Okay, then I am going to I'm going to I'm going to try to stealth and move to the right like the if I'm sorry, I'm assuming that this is all like surrounded by like trees, right? Yes. So I'm going to I'm going to use the cover of darkness and I'm going to go and sneak from tree to tree trying to get on her right side, the, like the right side. Like if she's in the middle, mm -hmm. right, then I'm going to go on this right side like a, a far wider path to see if I can sneak my way to where she might be heading. Okay, the tree is on the left side that she's in. Because like there's a path like how it's been before, you know, with the canyon right. and the road. There's a path in the middle and then there's just these densely foliaged jungle trees. I mean, it doesn't change my plan. It, okay. Even if she's on the left side, there's still a, mm. there's still trees. I'm still going to use the cover of darkness and try yep. to get around her. Yep, absolutely. So go ahead and roll me stealth. Uh, I rolled with advantage. All right, did I? Oh. It does it 15 to 15. It don't matter. <laughs> You roll with disadvantage. Right. Yes, because you, because you have, have heavy, heavy armor. armor. Well, technically, you wouldn't but, have it yet, right? Yeah, I don't have it yet. Okay, then, uh, yeah, we'll just keep it. But, uh, yeah, really lucky. <laughs> That's really good right there. 15 15 <laughs> in your situation. Um, Why did it roll too, though? I'm on normal. Well, it's because uh, you have heavy armor, and heavy armor gets uh, disadvantage on stealth okay. checks. Mm -hmm, so, mm -hmm. so, you stealthily. Make your way to um, the, I would say if you're trying to do this definitely, like, I, uh, you want to go to, like, another tree to the left, and then, like, kind of, like, circle kind of around it and try to get at the base of the tree that she's at. No, I'm trying to go completely avoid the tree she's at. I'm trying to get oh, at okay. the tree she's facing towards. Gotcha. Okay. I see you. I see. I think I get what you're going with here. So... You're going over to the right side of those trees. And you just kind of like sneakily along and such like that. And you feel pretty hidden. But I get what you're doing. I see what you're putting down. That's clever. Smart. Now. Oh, is that the end of your turn, by the way? Yes, that's it. Okay. All right. Now. Let's see if she noticed. Wow, did not, did not. And if I believe what your plan is that you're doing, you'd wanted her to notice you. But she is completely oblivious to your presence. And it looks like she is, 
Oh, okay. Yeah, at least. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. All right. Um. But yeah, you as you're there, it looks like she does not move. She is still there. Um. Let's see. I think what she. What you can see is that it looks like she's grasping on to a vine in her hand. Okay. Hey, Vara. Um, Jesus, a lot. So after we watch Aaron now, how, disappear. So question for that. How are you going to relay that information back to your party? Aaron? Yeah, I was thinking about that and I should have done that. So I'm trying to just bank it on that. They okay. know what I'm going to do. Okay. So you guys are unaware of any information. You just saw Aaron okay. stealthily go over to the right side of the trees. Uh, then I'll look over to Lilian and I'll be like, how much can they fit in one tent? I'm, I have no idea. I mean... Because we have been in here for a long time, it feels like. A canyon to a forest, though. I wonder if it's just, like, spatial magic where we're at. It just kind of changes as we walk. Could be. Very well could be. Um, maybe it's all a simulation. Uh, maybe. <laughs> maybe life's maybe a simulation. Drugs. Um, <laughs> what is it? Okay, so we see that she is here. By the way, as you're having this conversation, <clears throat> you hear once again monkey sounds, the sounds of uh, birds, and then that slight touch of slithering. Um, what is it? Okay, so if she's up there and it's a rainforest, what would be our best way of getting to her? And I'm because I'm not noticing that Aaron's gone. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then Illumi? I have an idea. What is your idea? Please enlighten us. <laughs> I will be a distraction. When she comes to get me, y'all can get her. But what if she doesn't come to get us? Or any of us? She has the vine. She could easily flee. Yeah, but she has to get our flags, right? Isn't that kind of the whole part of it? She's got to get our flags before we get her? Right now she seems keen on avoiding us until she's had her fun or until we're, we've been exhausted. If that's We've been even grouped really up hurt. the whole time, though. If I go off on my own and y'all sneak... If that's you know really good, you sneak... I mean, I'm not trying to sneak. <laughs> well, I'm not trying. He's not trying to be a slithery little sneaky snake. <laughs> I'm trying to be a distraction. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, you, Kevara, how good your sneak? Uh, how good is my sneak? <laughs> good. Best sneak. Good. Uh, it's not, my it's not sneaky best snake. Man. It's not the best. Um, I like your idea, were, though. If he were to be a distraction, then okay, because I want to. I want to make awareness to this. Okay, I want to do investigation just to see if there's any other means that could help get to her, aside from the trees, while he's distracting her. If he were to distract her, if that was an idea to him, like you know, I want to look around, and investigate that. Okay. Uh, roll me investigation. And that is... Nice! Chris, 17! Whoop, whoop. Very good. Excellent, very good. A turnaround is happening in the party. Two um, 17s in a row. <clears> hey, <throat> <yo. clears throat> Let's go! Now, apologies, could you uh, remind me what it is that you're trying to investigate for? Uh, investigate if there is any means that will help us to getting the coin from her while Illumi contemplates being a distraction. Because none of us, since none of us are aware that Aaron's just like, all right, toodles. Mm -hmm. 
So as you're kind of looking around like the area and like fully kind of like touching um, your surroundings, you, if you move up to your speed, you kind of look down at the ground. The coloration is off. There's like about <laughs> there's about a um let's call it twenty feet wide discoloration. And as you kinda like go down, it's mucky. Like swamp mud mucky. You like... roll me a nature. Roll me a nature to get an idea of like what it is you're feeling there. Excuse me. Thank you. That is an eleven. Okay. Not too hard to discern between. This feels like quicksand. Okay. Not quick, Sam. <laughs> um, I'll just kind of. What is it? Like as I'm messing with it, I'll just kind of turn around and look to the to Lumi and Liliana and be like, "Hey, there's some uh, I think quicksand here. <laughs> I'm assuming. Could be wrong. There's venomous fly traps here." <laughs> That could be our thing, though. She would know this is here. So if he's hollering, Oh, he's trapped! He's trapped! Just saying. Lumi, will you actually get trapped, though? Far enough away from it that, like, maybe you aren't, can't actually fall in. I was about to say, the pitfall may have been our uh, bad omen for him. But if he's willing to be a distraction... Then this might just work. And with that, I will end my turn. Okay. Illumi. That is I. Tis you. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to get in the quicksand. No. <laughs> uh, Gasp. I am going to... I uh, I don't want to just kind of screw everybody over, but I'm just gonna go for it. <laughs> I'm just gonna kind of walk in act in the forest, right? Kind of like mm -hmm. adjacent to where she's at, like you know, where I'll be in front of her, kind of. Okay. And I'm gonna take out something out of my book bag, right? <laughs> and I'm gonna I'm gonna shake I'm gonna shake it up, and it's gonna start glowing like a light, basically like a big glow stick. Mm. And I'm gonna I'm gonna cast the light cantrip. If that's okay. Yeah. And then I'm just gonna like shake it up, I'm gonna hold it up, I'm gonna say, Aaron? Where'd you go, buddy? Like as loud as I can. And just just like kind of walking through the forest. <laughs> <laughs> and uh yeah, so I'm gonna do I'm like Aaron! Hello? Hmm. Okay. That Liliana. Is my distraction. Uh hmm. Are you trying to be theatrical about this? Uh not really, because I really don't know where he went. So okay. Okay. that's fine. <laughs> you know, part of me is was... really looking for him. Part of me is also like just kinda like, hey, I'm out here by myself. You Are know? you doing a distraction? I was thinking about getting you to roll a performance. Uh, I to can do that. Okay. I mean, well, it might not be great, but... <laughs> yeah, you know, that that's a loomy. That's a loomy. Uh, uh, yeah. Highest roll of the night's been a 10. <laughs> oh. Um, okay. Liliana? I'm going to hide. Like stealth. No, okay. Where are you stealthing to? 
into the brush. I want to still be able to see him. Uh, okay. Kind of still keep the direction that Aaron went, like, to the side. Mm-hmm. And, ke- and keep watch on that. But I want to be able to see Illumi. Right. So your range of fire is your end point is Aaron, where he was going towards. And then your mm-hmm. left range of fire is going to be Illumi. Yes. Gotcha. All right, so you cover that base. Good, good, good. Could I possibly... uh, I wanted to say advantage since he was distracting, but man, leave it up to you. the best distraction, unfortunately. It was a a bad performance. Doesn't mean that was (laughs) a bad distraction. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? Go ahead. Take the take the yeah. uh, roll again. Much 17. better. Much better. Okay. So 17 is your actual step as you are in the brush full itch. Um that being said, you feel pretty hidden. Aaron, you are back to being fully hidden. You see her grasping onto the vine. Um what you can also see is that she has directed her attention to Illumi. Okay. Um, can I see where that vine is going? Like like the trajectory of it. Like where mm-hmm. where if she were to swing on it, where she would end up. He's going to yeah. use advanced algebra to determine the trajectory and velocity of this vine. <laughs> <laughs> Put all the little math symbols in front of him. Like he's gonna pull out a square. And... The pull out a square. You mean Pythagorean theorem? <laughs> Whatever it is. Get the graph notebook out and then <laughs> start pulling up. Three point one four. The trajectory of two times twenty five. Numbers and... start appearing in front of him. Don't forget the wind speed. The yeah, there there it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hilarious. Okay, so. If she swings from the vine that she is at, she is going to directly... So, she is going to swing diagonally that is going to impact Lumi, which will then go up to the tree that is diagonal to the tree that she is on. The uh, That span is about... 30 feet. Mm, 40. Yeah. Uh, can I sneak closer to that tree? Or can I get to that tree by sneak? Get to her tree? The tree that she Oh, that she's going to go to. Um, you would have to traverse through as like I'm sure you're listening and such so you know the party is talking. Your friends has discovered that um if you see dark discoloration, then you know that is quicksand. So it's like you would have to think of a clever, a clever maneuver in order to. Okay. Uh, I'll let me change my line of thought here. So okay. it, is there a tree close to me? There is. Are there any vines from said tree? There are. Okay, then uh, I'm going to get up in that tree and uh, be ready to swing to where she is swinging to. Gonna gonna her collision. Through. She's gonna swing this okay, way. You're gonna swing this way. Swing? Yeah, that, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. So you're fascinating. Okay. So here's my question. Are you going to try? Yeah, I mean, I would recommend you try and be stealthy, but it is up to you. It I is mean, yeah, I was planning to. Do. I was okay. planning to. Do. Okay. So go ahead. Roll me stealth. Uh and let's see. An advantage since he's not looking at me. It's actually advantage because she doesn't even know where you are. Aaron! Come on, come on. Where is it? Da, 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 da. It's not that. Here we are. I got a... A little... A eight. There's yours. Okay. Um. Yeah, because it was, like, grayed out. Um... <clears throat> Okay. You don't think it was the most stealthy, but maybe, just maybe, she does not notice. 
But as you like slowly get up there, I'm gonna have to make a quick roll here for a second. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on before that. Okay, okay, okay. okay. So, uh, it's just still doing it with uh, disadvantage. Uh, no, because it's yeah. with heavy armor. Yes, but I'm tracking that um, you got your highest roll was an eight because it's the one on the left. So I always right, think that the dice I rolled it was a nine. No, no, no. That's a six. When it's um, if it was a nine, the dot would be at the tail rather than at the uh, circle. Does that make sense? Yeah, I was trying to trick you. Not a you you shame me have... once. If you do once. have inspiration for I don't know what you could use it. You, uh, what can yeah, I do that, that is true. You can do that at exactly. any time. And by the way, a, I forgot I had inspiration. A I DM, should use it on my three. A DM inspiration is that um, it is a complete reroll. It is not like bardic inspiration where you add on. It is a complete new reroll. Okay, so if I do do that and I'll get worse than what I got, can I still use what I have now? No. Well, you know what? Sure. If you yeah, get worse, it, then. okay. It's going to put in the chat. I should have used my inspiration on my three. Hey, hey that's what we're talking morning. about. That is much better. Hey, you. A good use of the inspiration. Um. So that being said. You are absolute so very you are much more stealthy uh as fates had changed in your favor. Um so we're gonna see if she does actually you know, well, no, we're not. So with that, you are definitely stealthy enough. Uh that you get in position exactly the way you want it to be. And now it goes to her turn. So, she's going to, she has no idea where Aaron is, but she is seeing dwindling people happening. So she's going to try and find somebody. Okay. Aaron! <laughs> In my bright ass light. Liliana, <laughs> her eyes huh? and your eyes meet. He looks at me, and I look at him. She gives you a, a wink, and wink then back. she goes to swing. Nah, Incoming. I, I'm, a, I'm assuming that my guy was already like ready for when she yes, swung. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, that's what like I was gonna let that thematically happen because. Mechanics wise, it was like I want to hold my action in order when as soon as she like swings, I get to swing. But it's like I run the rule cool here, and this is arc one, so intro arc and such. So it's all about the fun. Um, that being said, as she swings, you swing. Lumi is just swing for ice cream. No, my lord, incoming. Um, oh, no. I've already been I've already been given away. So, uh Illumi is just like Aaron, Aaron. Um she swings, you come to swing, you both uh collide into each other and colliding into Illumi as all three of you get in the quicksand. Nice. Oh no. Get her coin! <laughs> All three of you are thrown. You are... Aaron, you are face-planted into the quicksand. Illumi, you are face-planted into the quicksand. And she is face-planted into the quicksand. Uh, in answer. the middle of the quicksand. So ten feet away from everyone else. Do you say, are your hands free? Yeah, are my hands free? I would um, say um, do me a strength saving roll if you want to hold on, because after an impact, 
you know, that's jarring. So if you want to hold on to that vine, hold, then roll me a strength saving throw. Oh, please. Please. I, I rolled it with, like, I rolled it with advantage. Ooh. My fault. Oh. It's fine. I'll take that 16. Okay. Uh, with 16, um, it would have been better with 19. 16 is still very good that, yes, you hold on after the impact and you being faced into the quicksand. You are holding on to the vine, death grip in your hand um, as you're kind of going through a a jarring shell shock moment. Like, I mean, you literally bashed heads in a way when this happened. So there's a bit of a ringing, maybe a little concussion. Um, that being said, that was the end of her turn. Uh, Kevara, on your turn, the sounds of monkeys, the sounds of birds, and the slight touch of slithering once again returns. Did she hear a big thwack? Oh, and then, you know, the massive... <laughs> Cartoon letters pop out. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. oh man. Um... <laughs> and Illumi uh, is face-planted into the quicksand 10 feet, like, 10 feet in the... Uh, 10 feet... Yeah. Oh, wait, you know, in the center of the quicksand, basically. And then you've got uh, Aaron, who appeared out of nowhere with this thwack. Uh, but he seems to be deathly holding on to uh, the vine that he swung on. However, Alana face planted no vine in her hand. Okay. So that would leave the option of save and rescue or go for the coin. Why not both? Why not? How do you plan to traverse in quicksand? <laughs> uh, <laughs> can you repeat that? I'm so sorry. How do you plan on traversing in quicksand? Um. Okay, so they're ten feet. They're like they're ten feet away in the center. Correct. Yes. yes? Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's see. Did that close together? And he's still in. Um, Aaron still has the vine. I would want to mm -hmm. try to be ballsy enough to run out, maybe, and somehow la like jump and grab the vine, if at all possible, without like not trying to kick Aaron in the like head or anything. So <laughs> you're gonna jump out and grab Aaron's vine? I'm gonna be stupid enough to do it. Why don't yes. you just get your own vine? <laughs> and just because, like it out to us. Like ten foot, there's a running start, maybe. Okay. But the other vines are like are the okay, let me ask this before I And make you, that get, in okay. quicksand, okay. you <laughs> get in quicksand, you get in quicksand. We all get in quicksand. And TPK at the with... intro arc. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, if I didn't want to go for that, are there any vines close by? Because I'd be too nervous to grab, try and grab a vine, and it'd actually be a snake. Because mm -hmm. they're still slithering. Mm -hmm. like Godforsaken um, slithering. <laughs> so, um, I would say. Yes, you do see abundance of vines, but here's a thing to think about. There may be abundance of vines, but what vine is going to be strong enough to support your weight? I just grab all of them? There's like an abundance. You have a very short amount of time on your turn to determine which is best. All right. So, and let me try to help this scenario in a bit. So there are vines all over the trees. Okay, they all seem to be like 
lushly green, like healthy. So there's no sign of decay. Um, just go ahead and roll me a either perception or investigation for two types of different information and see if you can determine something from these vines from the closest tree to you. Investigation for 12. Okay. That makes me nervous. Gave him the idea. Well, you're going to be dumb. You got to be tough. And right now, hmm. I am. Awesome big music dumb. starts playing in the background. <laughs> It's not that it's it's not that hard to determine, uh, even with a lot of vines and whatnot. But you can clearly see the middle vine on the tree closest to you. It seems to be very um, uh, deeply wrapped around the structure of the tree that you feel like it. This is the vine you need to grab. Okay. Uh. So then, yeah, I'll take take that vine and. Uh, I'll look at Liliana and I'll be like, all right, well, if I don't come out of this, we're all screwed. <laughs> then get a running start and uh, shut up, wise. Um, go out and maybe try to land on her or what? what's her name again? I'm sorry. I've idiot. Uh, Alana. Alana. Yeah. She said the name and then for some reason it slipped. It slipped out of the brain. Uh, try and swing and get either close to her or land like right on her just because the fact that we're on a wild goose chase for this person. Anyone else get um, Emperor's New Groove when Yzma is taking the <laughs> curtain? <laughs> just try to swing to get to to get to Kuska. Wrong <laughs> lever! No. I was about to say, Illumi pulled the wrong levers. <laughs> yeah, he, I mean, very true. I see it now. Just Isma, just yeah. Lumi does no wrong. <laughs> uh, all right. So I'm going for it. Okay. <laughs> I'm not just looking around. I'm um, just saying my plan worked. You <laughs> good fun. job. Great, great, great work, Lumi. You take your, you uh, take the vine. You're running. You make a jump. Need you to roll me athletics to see how well this is going to turn out for you. Okay. okay, what is your desired uh, effect you want out of this? Uh, to land on Alana. Like your feet on, on her back? Yeah, like feet on back. Oh my god. <laughs> Maybe some... <laughs> Ruthless. I'm going for chaos <laughs> today. For We're in the jungle. I am like nervous. Like there's snakes. I want this toy. <laughs> I want the toy. Okay. Get out of here. All right. So you. The canyon was one thing. Snakes. Mm, pass. Okay. I mean, part of, part of the welcome to the jungle is we're all going to die, so... <laughs> you swing, you you grab vine, you run, you jump, you swing, you plant your feet into her back, making it to the ten feet that you need as you hear a satisfying... <clears throat> as she goes deeper into the quicksand, her face down granted when you've done that or like her face does come up of like <sighs> like it's just like almost like kind of knocking the wind out of her <laughs> and you, you, you you're just there you just you're just there <laughs> we're gonna go to Illumi <laughs> Illumi uh, you're face I mean, down in I... quicksand and it's sticky <laughs> and it sucks all right, I'm, I guess I'm a. I'm, what can I do? Can I try to make a deck save yeah. to like get, wiggle my way out? Um, yes, but are like so? Are you trying to wiggle so you can be upright, or what's your plan? Whatever's here? the best for me. I just want out of the quicksand. <laughs> so whatever is the best way for me. Oh to go. Lord, he's going. He's being like um, people who are not accustomed to water. 
and they freak out as soon as they get into the water and just start clawing. I'm not and grabbing freaking and... out. Okay. I'm just trying to get out. <laughs> okay. Well. I guess I would try to write myself first. So I'm not just face down. I'm just saying, I perceive the future being you pushing Aaron's head down further into the quicksand and grabbing he's, a hold he's of the holding, He's hanging on to a vine. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? No, I wouldn't do that. But... What the dog doing? <laughs> what the dog do? Yeet! Oh, okay! <laughs> there we go. There we go. You were like, I am not I comfortable like with to. things. I am not. Uh, I am not comfortable with things that I'm uncomfortable about, and I want out now. Uh, it's just like uh, this is not a good I'm situation. I, now. I just don't. I mean, I'm not. I really. I'm, I don't think I'd be freaking out. I'm just like, I don't need to be face down in this. <laughs> okay, I got you. Uh, if I so, can get out, I'd like to get out. At the very least, I would like to like upright myself. I guess. Okay. So, you do kind of um, upright. Do you mean like you want to be kind of like you want your hands on the quicksand and get your face out of the quicksand and then be able to like freely look around and such and have your legs yeah, go yeah. into the quicksand at that point? I mean, if I can't get out, yeah. <laughs> okay, because that's, that's the closest scenario you're going to get there. Uh, but by, if you want that, by doing that, you can see that Aaron... <laughs> It's right beside you, face down, death gripping a vine. There's Kavara over to your left <laughs> that is on top of okay. Alana. That looks painful. <laughs> Did you get the coin? <laughs> Working on that. Okie dokie. That's uh, all I can do. <laughs> for the, yeah, for the most part, for right now. Um, Liliana. Yeah. I'm gonna go for Aaron's vine. Like, can I reach it from where I'm at? And pull him back up to the land, because he's the only one still face down? Hmm. Not that's too a, worried about our target. That's a little hard, because his vine is, like, at the very top, ro deeply rooted, just like, kind of like, Kvar's was. That's like okay. the, where he was up the top of the tree. So it's kind of like the vine is attached to the ceiling in a sense. Okay. Then I would like to reach for another strong looking vine and Incredible. throw it out to a Lumi. Um, okay. Yeah. That's a good idea. I like that. Get his, um, get his attention. Hey, Lumi. Here. You saw kind of what uh, Kvar did. Okay. So. <laughs> Here, boy. Here, boy. <laughs> um, yeah, you saw what Kvar was doing when it came to like the vines and everything. So you kind of observe. You do find one that is uh, deeply rooted in the tree itself, and then you just kind of yank it off and uh, roll me a yeah, roll me an athletics to like if you make it. Where, like, uh, uh, who are you trying to send it to? Aaron? Alumi. Aaron's, Alumi. Aaron's got a vine. He's got a vine. Mm -hmm. I got one. Kvara's got a vine. She Alumi's does, the only one that doesn't. Okay, yeah. Don't worry. It's just like a hug all over my body. <laughs> yeah, but you can't <laughs> have these snacks. I got a snack right here. You can't have these snacks without that rope. Come on. So you lasso? Oh. World of seven. That would be worse. Um, you throw it at his, at his feet, like, but it, it does land on his, like, foot. You reach it? I thought I was up right now. <laughs> yeah. Well, like I said, you, like, you're in a push-up position, basically, and you got your arms, like, fully uh... extended, um, where, I guess in that sense... Yeah, that's fine. It's like they're not all, your legs are not all the way uh, all the way embedded in the quicksand yet. It's like half of your uh, both of your feet are embedded. So the vine hit the heel of uh, your my left, your right foot. Nice. It's over there. You tried. You good, Kevin? I imagine. It just like swings out yeah. and just taps my foot, and then it swings back towards her. 
No, it's out there for you to grab, like when she when she can get. Yeah, what, if you want to like you rig yourself out and then um, which I'm not gonna I'm not gonna feed ideas. It's like whatever you want to do, but the situation is what it is. I'm not gonna feed ideas. Come on, this is this is your guys' part of this. And that is why I'm currently standing on somebody's back. <laughs> yeah, you yes. can do it. Check her, check her body. <laughs> check her, check her. Um, <laughs> that's the end of your turn, Liliana. Uh, yeah, that's all I can do. Okay. Aaron, your face planted into quicksand right now, but you do have a vine deathly gripped in your hand, and you're hearing a lot of commotion <sighs> to your left. <sighs> I was about to say, uh, can I just uh, pull myself up with the vine? Yes, so give yourself a dexterity save with advantage. It wouldn't be a strength, because I'm pulling. Yeah, athletics. Athletics! It's just that, mm-hmm. like, when you're face planted and it's like sucked, it's like you know you gotta wriggle yourself out. But we'll do athletics with advantage. Hey, I'll take the twenty-three as I, I know you meant to roll. roll. <clears throat> um, because is your athletics modifier a four as well? Yes. Okay, so it's the same thing then. Um, yeah. So with Actually, twenty-three. Plus six. Okay, we'll just. Sick. Okay, so then we'll add. Uh, that's a twenty-five. Then so, absolutely, you pull yourself uh, up. Uh, what's your desired effect? Like you want to fully pull yourself up or get back on I wanna, land? I want to pull myself up to the point to where my like my uh, shins are the only thing in the uh, only thing in the quicksand. Okay. Fair enough. You are. Shins deep uh, in the quicksand. Did you get the coin? Did anybody get the coin? No, I'm not still trying to find it. Why are you standing on her back? Because it's the only way I could get to the coin. You can't escape this would way. Would you rather me stand on you? I want you to get off. <laughs> not I'm trying to find the coin. I'm not trying to kill her. I don't care. She led us on a wild goose chase. He wants to sleep with her. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm a man of God. I, you know, I, I'm uh, abstaining from that kind of activity until I'm married. Thank you. He's a man after assets, and I, the only asset I'm after is this coin. <laughs> well, just hurry up, and find a coin. Let me. <laughs> do you wanna? You wanna ride? I'm actually quite comfortable. <laughs> All right, fair I'm enough. Just <laughs> Comfortable in quicksand. I never thought I'd hear the hear that say. I said it's like a it's like a big hug all over my body. Look, Alumi is a treasure. Okay. Absolutely. Um, well, but yes, I would like to be out of the quicksand. <clears throat> okay. Okay, I'm on. Uh, is that gonna be the end of your? Is that the end of your turn, toe? Aaron? Yeah, it's the end of my turn. You do feel a vine touching your toes. Um. So it's going to be her turn, and she has a Kevara on her back. <laughs> she is face-planted in quicksand. So she's going to try and get out. You better not have a good roll, I swear. Mm-hmm. I mean, it should be at disadvantage with being prone and stepped on. Yep. Wow. Okay. Um, so, um, as she tries to get out, you just see her arms kind of, like, flailing. She tries to, like, grab a hold of, like, Kevara's legs, but to no avail and no purchase. Um, and after doing that, she starts to just, like, kind of, like, slapping in front of her and try to get her face up. As um, she is successfully to get her face up, as she's just like, can't breathe, <laughs> and face goes back down. Give us the coin, and we will save you. <laughs> you see bubbles on the side of um, the side of her head, like kind of air bubbles, and then you feel her sink further in. 
Ember froze it did. Oh, no. oh she's gone. Oh, there she is. There she is. Sorry, technical difficulties. We're good now. Thank it's you. It's okay. Um, that being said, Kvaro, uh, you have a sinking Alana. You have um, she can't breathe. She's begging to live. Uh, begging for her life. Um, along with that, you hear monkey sounds, birds, and a touch of slithering. What is to be known with these sounds is that it seems like those sounds happen and then as everything is proceeding, it seems to be quiet. And then after a certain moment, it just happens again. But What's it sounds the sound exact like? same. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, I guess it would sound like. Yeah. I figured it was like just something going over <laughs> I'm just like, foliage and stuff. Yeah, just going I through foliage. It's just like. I can picture it in my noodle. In your noodle? My noodle. Your noodle. Uh, okay, I want to start, start. Like, I want to keep one hand on the vine, and I want to use the other one to start trying to look around. Uh, and search for this coin. If I don't touch your assets, <laughs> they're in the <laughs> sand. <laughs> that is <laughs> inappropriate. <be> okay. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Are we doing like full body search here? I mean, whatever gets the coin, I guess. Sheesh. <laughs> Didn't she show us where she put it? She did not. I don't think she. Yeah, she, she did. She, yeah, she said she she put it in her. Uh... Like her, I guess, bra. She put it in the assets? Yeah, she put it in the assets. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she was like, you know. No, 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 no. It, it's like, I remember, because it's um, kind of like me. part of a, uh, it's on yeah, she, she uh, a leather was strap that was me. on her front. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know how, like, where you wear, like, um, you know, wearing, like, a leather pack, and it just slings over your shoulder? It's, like, on that leather pack. It's where it was like a little compartment, and she like clicked it in. Okay, so would I be able to um, get the like strap, like pull it off of her to get to the coin while she can stay in the sand where she belongs? Hmm. It and should be possible. Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, she said it. <laughs> um, At least I went after what matters. Uh, so yeah, it should be possible. I'm trying to think of the appropriate role. Um, because what you got to do is you have to slide it up her body while she's face down with your full body. It would be easier for you if you got off and into the quicksand to then. Try to remove the bag from her. Okay, hold on. Wait, train of thought change. Okay. With that in mind, since you fed an idea, I'm not going to feed anybody ideas. Um, I will. <laughs> look, I had to it rationalize it and understand. It well, look, I'm about to go the irrational route here since uh -oh. we have the idea. Uh -huh. um, since the up. vine is secure, uh -huh. I'm going to tie it around myself. Okay. To get into the quicksand, so that way I can roll her over to get the strap. Uh, ah. get so the she coin. can breathe. I thought you were gonna like uh, punch through her breathing. chest and grab breathing. it through her chest and then pull it back out. You know. Yeah, I'm gonna just. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <Kana. laughs> Kalima, Kalima. <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh, yeah, Mortal Kombat. I'm not trying or to go that dark. Temple it's already, of Doom. It's enough that I'm. On top of her, Jesus. <laughs> um, you could definitely do that. Uh, I was actually thinking that you were gonna forego that. You're just gonna get like on top of her and just reach, go in this quicksand, reach around, and then grab the coin. Just like I'm not giving a reach around. Through. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, she can still do that. Just now, she's secured with the thing around her waist. It's true, but that's what she decided. So that's fine. Um, so, 
you're in the quicksand and you get off of her and you roll her over and uh okay. she's covered in muck uh so the coin is not visible but it's like you know if you want to like just go for it i'm ready to get this over with come on <laughs> <laughs> come on all right come on um, get it done I mean, you saw, you saw, so you know. Yeah, it's fine. You just go for it. Um, you feel like that little coin slot kind of jazz um, as you're reaching down, and yeah, you just yeah, you get the coin. You just pick it up. You just like rip it out of the slot, and you got the coin. Okay. Upon that happening, here's the butt. Everything around you begins to dissipate. Oh my god. The jungle, the canyon, everything around you starts to dissipate and you are um just in the original area that you met her. Would you like okay. some water? <laughs> You'll notice that the muck is, like, gone from her, um, but she is kind of, like, just laying on her back right now, and uh, just kind of, like, in shock and disbelief. I'm gonna offer her some water. You want some water? <laughs> I'm gonna help her up. Yeah, like, kind of turns to Lumi, and it's like... I, like, she... kind of step back and just kind of, like, mock dust myself off. Looks at Illumi and just still in a moment of shock, can't really respond. But then Liliana giving out a hand, she takes it and grasps it. You pull her firmly up. Grasp it firmly grasp it in your hand. Firmly grasp it. So you pull her up and she's like, Well, I must say, I am impressed. Um, and I almost died, so there's that. I almost died, too. I think you were fine, though. You didn't have You were someone... fine. No, no, I, no, I don't think I, I don't think I was. I. You are, not you were, you are. Was, li... <laughs> mm, okay. I almost fell in a hole. I'm pretty sure you left that hole there, so I think we're even. Nonetheless. <laughs> I had to deal with possibility of snakes to get to you. I think you'll be okay. I rammed you. <laughs> that you did. Um, I'm actually going to ask for each of your names, and then I'm going to say something. So, what was your name? And she's looking at you, Kevara. Uh, my my name is Kevara. Kevara. Your instincts. Kevara with a C. Your instincts yeah. and um movements, or your just tenacity, is the right way to go about a challenge or an obstacle, a situation. You go for it, full, with no hesitation, and. Because it can be a life or death situation in these situations. And I am giving you praise for your action. Thank you. And what was your name? As she points over to Alumi. I'm Alumi. Alumi. It was very smart of you and brave to have chose to put yourself as a distraction so that others could get to feeling uh to achieving their task it is brave and that sometimes those you can see you yourself are putting yourself in danger that could have cost you your life for you to be able to do that for these people of your group speaks bounds about the trust that you have in them. 
I've known them for four hours. <laughs> <laughs> just I like, don't have known them that long. <laughs> wide stare and just kind of blinks for a minute. Uh, okay, uh, okay. <clears throat> um, and you, as he points to you, Liliana. Hello, Liliana. Liliana, your support, as I saw in two scenarios of you helping a ally in need at the canyon. Attempt. Both failures of support, but they tr she tried. That's all that matters. <laughs> gave it, an a for effort, okay? it was an A for effort. Absolutely. I give her an A for effort. Um, as that is because yeah, when the danger happened and the situation came up, you immediately went to go and help your friend. And that is the right situation because it is important to have it's important to have the your friends and keep them alive and and do whatever it takes to achieve the task that you are trying to fulfill. But as you saw, can also put you in a de detriment if things don't go your way. The important thing to remember is what Sadar taught. Mm, who was it? Who did Sadar teach? Liliana. Oh, well, there you go. Where Sadar taught you to stay calm in all situations. Even when things don't turn yeah. out the way they're supposed to. You have to think about what you're doing before you just jump head first. Well, one time. it's a 50-50. Do it one time. It's a 50-50. <laughs> Sometimes, and, you know, we're just some people are blessed by luck. And last but not least, you. I am Aaron. I am the one that hit you. Aaron, yes. I run into things head first. That you do. And you are quite stealthy. I have to say, you avoided my gaze a good bit there uh, in the jungle. Um, so I am impressed by your skills of stealth. But... I have to say, I think you realize that your detriment was your communication back to the part, back to your friends when you en enacted a plan. I'm used to working by myself, so I, I know I don't. I've never really had allies or friends to tell stuff to. Well, that is fair. But is, but now that you are working with a group, it is important to think of the others in your group before going and enacting something. However, it worked in this scenario, but it's just something food for thought. It may be that consideration that puts either you in danger or someone else. But you hit me rather hard. Couldn't you go a little I, easier? If you insist. I'm a delicate woman, after all. As she just kind of like gives a sly kind of grin. You know what? We don't even need your coin. The real treasure is the friends we made along the way. Oh my lord. <laughs> That's right, Illumi. No, no. No, 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 no. And everybody <laughs>, laughs in G.I. Joe, and then the camera zooms out, and then title scene. G.I. <laughs> Joe. <laughs> I did not swing. 
and land on her for you to return that coin, Illumi. <laughs> friendship or no friendship. I'm the one that hit her. And I thought of all that. You just coming over here trying to take my credit, huh? But you didn't tell anybody, so we had to, you know, work with what we had. In any case. What, whatever. <laughs> Alright, guys, let's go. You guys have some things clearly that needs to be sorted out, but that is my advice to you. However, congratulations. You have accomplished the test of dexterity, and I wish you further success in the other tests to come. Uh, thanks. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. And as you guys leave the tent with another test successfully completed, where are we going next? To the yellow end. To the yellow end. Where are we going? To the yellow end. yellow end. Where are we going? <laughs> Okay, so well, let me stop running. As you guys make it to the tent, to the yellow tent, and go inside, um, what you see inside is a stage that is spotlighted down, where there is a podium, and then flash, flash, two more lights. On the left and the right, where you have four podiums on the left, four podiums on the right, on a stage. As you hear, welcome, esteemed guest, to the test of intelligence. What a nerd. <laughs> That's what all was saying. As you look over to the right, there are the four guys who um, seem to be causing trouble with the group you met of Tom, Big, Tiny, and um, Edgelord. Over on the right, standing behind them. And you hear from this group, is it finally time that we get to take this damn test of intelligence? And you see from the guy who made that announcement, the first one about the test of intelligence and being a nerd, you see a bowl cut haircut. Uh, he's a very lanky figure, very pale. He has these big glasses on. Um... And he seems to be in just this nerd outfit. We're talking college shirt, pocket protector, uh, shirt tucked in, belt, whole nine yards, khakis. With the, with the tape. And he says, yes, we can certainly begin the test of intelligence. Now that another group is ready for the trivia to begin. And that is where we're going to leave this session of Into the Aether tonight. <laughs> Get ready, boys and girls. You're about to play Family Feud. But not because it's trivia. What kind of trivia? What kind of trivia Liliana says? I thought you said. So what mm -hmm. we're really playing is how fast can we Google the answers? I'm just oh, <laughs> you think? <laughs> I wasn't going to say that. But... <laughs> so, <laughs> this is a little snippet since we got about... Well, granted, we got to do the outro, but I have developed a really cool trivia mechanic system for this. So, what is going to happen is to determine so basically there are 
three or four categories, trying to remember, of questions. When it is your turn, um, you will roll a d6, and the opposing party is going to roll a d6 in a determination of rock, paper, scissors. The value of your dice determines what you throw out. And if yours, you know, of course, if you rolled a rock and they rolled a scissors, then you win and you get to answer one of the trivia questions. I'm going to just get a buzzer. I'm just kidding. Mm. Just kidding. So look forward to that. And scribbles, doodles, and wanderers, you too, stay tuned. And don't miss this next episode, because I'm really excited about this mechanic uh, system that I came up with. And I hope it goes well, because we know new mechanics go well every time. Um, oh, bless you. But I have full faith and confidence in this. Really excited. Um, with that being said, let's go around the board once more. Um with starting with amber about where they can find you and all that jazz all right once again i'm amber it has been fun playing along and completing yet another tent and getting another coin you can find me on instagram at a goolsby photo you can check out all of my photos and even dm me if you live in the local area and you want some stuff commissioned thank you Thank you, Amber. Lane, aka Alumi, go ahead. You know, I was I'm trying Lane, to aka actually, Alumi. Actually, one thing. <sighs> See, I was trying to find you the other day, um, but I, I I couldn't find you. So, what platform do you like stream on, and ha ha where? What what do I type again? I stream on Kick, and it's Greatson. Greatson. Great. Kick. Son. Okay. Yeah. Which I'll be streaming tonight, here in about 30 minutes. Hey, what are you going to be streaming? Watch. Yes, they should. I'll be streaming World of Warcraft. World of Warcraft. Woohoo! Woo yeah, yeah, Doing yeah, a raid? Yeah. Yep, the hardest Ooh. difficulty. Exciting, exciting, exciting. Ready to die a lot. <laughs> Don't miss out. Something to watch, people. Um, next, Ashley, a.k.a. Liliana. Where they can find you, hi, hi. all that jazz. I am not here. I'm ethereal. But my call out for the week is for West of Nowhere from my brother's podcast. They're on YouTube and Facebook and anywhere else you can find people, I guess. Give us a little synopsis. Just like if you could describe his uh, podcast in one sentence. Uh, I'm fairly certain that they are bullshitting about anything and everything the last thing i saw had to do with conspiracy theories like bigfoot and all that stuff uh sometimes they have movie stuff sometimes they interview other people from other podcasts cool and the questions are super good interesting cool 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 hey jc aka aaron i know you also do some streaming and you do some games and you do but like what platform are you on and like how do i find you so uh, i stream on uh twitch i'm more of a variety type streamer but uh, i do play a lot of world of warcraft as well uh and the name for it is z-e-x-i-i-o-n-n -N. Mm -hmm. two n's but uh, yeah, the, hopefully there will be descriptions for everybody in the description of whatever. But eventually, <laughs> there will be. I promise. One eternity later. <laughs> um, yeah. if it's not, <laughs> I will say this: uh, if it is not in these recent episodes, it will definitely be in after arc one is over. But I will do my best to definitely just. Put them bad boys in each of the episodes that we've done in the VODs and such. Sweet. Um, Oakley, Oakley. All right. So, Doodles, Scribbles, and Wanderers, we thank you once again for tuning into, into the Aether.
God, I gotta figure something else out for that. Anyways, uh, stay tuned for more. And this is the Story Weaver signing off. Bye. We're back. Bye.